Hello, fifth year, how are you? Well, today is Tuesday, the 26th of May. It's sunny and cold. And well, today we are going to check activity book, the exam maximizer, pages 36, 37 and 38. We are going to check mistakes from the essay. Yes, uh, number one from the exam maximizer. We are going to um, see vocabulary from uh, prepositional phrases, uh, comparatives, superlatives. Yes, okay. And um, we are going to work on pages 62, 63 and 64, yes, from uh, unit 6, yes, okay, and we are going to, uh, you're going to take as homework, page 39, 40, exercises 1 and 2, from the use of English, from the exam maximizer, okay? So let's start, we are going to, I want you to... Um, Go to the uh, exam maximizer. We are going to check pages 36, 37 and 38. Okay? Remember to put a tick if it is okay, a cross if it is wrong. Okay? Yes? Good, good, good. Well. Good. So we have page uh, 36. There we are. Exercise number one. Are you ready? Okay. Essence. Two. Prospects. Three. Balance. Four. Well. Five. Full. And six. Application. Okay. Right. Exercise two. One. C. Yes. Okay. Two. F. 3G. This is a specific vocabulary. Number 4E, 5H, 6E, 6D, sorry, 6D. Yes, an interview is an info, a formal meeting for someone to ask, yes, you questions. 7A, yes, okay, 7A, permanent, not temporary. And uh, 8B. Wage, yes, money for a job, pay weekly, yes, okay, remember, wage, yes, okay, wait a minute, all right, uh, ba, 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 ba. and notice the difference between uh, four, let's go to four, yes, four E, yes, four E, yes, money, Yes, 4E, salary, money usually pay for a job every month, yes, okay? So I want you to highlight all these words, yes, highlight all these words, because this is a specific vocabulary, yes, and the other two on exercise, yes, okay? The ones on exercises are on page 36, exercise, um, you know, one and Two, yes, okay. But notice the difference between salary and wages. Yes, okay. One is money paid, yes, uh, for a job, but weekly, and the salary is monthly. Yes, okay. All right. Is it clear? Yes. All right. Great. A minute. Well, once you have every everything underlined, yes, you have to study, of course. Very well, good. Let's go to exercise three. Stressful, secure, permanent, salary, rewarding, and interview. All right? Let's go to exercise uh, page 37. One, window cleaning. Two, they do not discuss or reach a, dec a decision as to which job is the most is most rewarding. Yes, okay. Good. Well, uh, exercise three. Yes, okay. One B. Yes. No, you have there A. Good. One B. Yes, it's okay. Two E. Three A. Four D. And 5C. Okay? Is it clear? 
Good, because you have to match. 1B, 2E, 3A, 4D, and 5C. Okay, well, so um, it's done. Yes, let's go to the mistakes. Yes, I want you to, uh, whenever we have um, the, um, the essays and everything, yes, remember to, um, Paula, I haven't seen yet, because I have to see it again now. You know, I am recording in the morning for you to have the classes in the afternoon, on time, of course. Yes, so, uh, Paula, you sent again, yes, uh, the essay in a format that is not PDF. Remember, I want, if you are watching the class, are you watching the classes? I, I, of course you are watching, but please, yes, I always repeat this, send me uh, the essays in um, PDF, because, you know, I use the tools for correction, yes, uh, and I need it in PDF, and I need it to be in PDF, okay? Um, Ivan, Ivan, you sent me again, and this time it was okay, it was in PDF, but remember this, yes, because I always say the same each class, in each class, okay, then, okay, laughs, yes, laughs, okay, the yes, in the present simple, yes, last for many years, for example, forget about, fall in love, yes, and you know, you have all the corrections there, whenever you have the essay, yes, you know, you send me, uh, you send the essays to me, yes, then I correct the essay, and then you have to see the mistakes, you know, it is the first thing we do, the first thing we do in, the, in each classes, yes, in all the classes, in each class, yes, so the thing is that, you must see your mistakes for not committing the same uh, on the next essay or writing. Is it clear? Report, writing, essay, writing in general. Yes, okay? Santi, prefer ING. This is a very elementary mistake. Yes, happiness without the, the yes, the happiness. Yes, because it's an abstract noun. Okay, is it clear? Good. NASA, they, you, yes, the articles they are, it can just it can just buy. Martin lives healthy. It was a bit better. Yes, you need to focus on the correction, auto correction before handing in. Yes, exercises each subject. Secondly, secondly, firstly, comma, secondly, comma. So be careful with punctuation, Martin, and spelling. Yes, Martin. Ivan buying cheerful. Yes, cheerful is with only a beautiful, cheerful one L. Full, my glass is full. Yes, this is with double L. But beautiful, um, cheerful, yes, only one L, okay, at the end. By shopping, by shopping. Fran, once, it was an elementary mistake there. These, yes, waste money on, waste money on, yes. Um, pamper yourself was the word you need in that part at the end that is treat yourself well, darte un regalito yes, okay mi marte vendría a ser, okay is it clear? and then uh, if you send me again, Paula in the correct um, format I will correct it and you will see your mistakes okay, I hope yes because it was the second one that you sent me the same in a format that, in the format that is not the one I need Yes, okay? And I sent a message to your mother for, in case you didn't read in the Google Classroom. Yes, okay? Is it clear? So maybe it is there, but I haven't checked again, yes? Because I have um, uh, sent all the corrections, yes? And I haven't sent it because I was planning and doing other things, other corrections. All right? So that's why it is very important that you send everything on time, yes, okay, because when I record the classes, when I'm recording the classes, I have to, I need to have all the things there for saying in this video, okay, in this class. Well, uh, so let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go to our pages. I want you to put the date of pages 62. 65, 63 and 64, 62, 63 and 64 from, from the class book, okay? Is it clear? Right, well done. Bye bye, examizer, 62, 63 and 64, 
okay? What skills of quali or qualifications, <coughs> sorry, you think an applicant for the job will need? Yes, and there is a, um, a primary school teacher, yes, okay, this is an advertisement, and we have to say what qualification does this person need, yes, okay? Is it clear? Good. Well, well, well. Good. Okay, well, but first of all, I want you to see some pictures. Yes, I have prepared for you. Blum, 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 blum. Wait a minute. No pictures. What are you? Okay, are you there? All right, then we're going to do the listening. We're looking for a well-qualified, unexperienced teacher to join our staff. The successful candidate will be able to cover a wide range of subjects and be motivated and enthusiastic. For more details, please contact blah, 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 and you have the email address address okay so i want you to think uh what skills and qualification qualification must a teacher we have already talked about this uh topic before in other courses maybe last year but what qualifications and skills do you think a person that work with me must have okay so i want you to think about that yes must be confident okay confident the person must be confident. What else? I am not listening. Okay. Must have a uh, must have experience. Uh huh. Okay. What well, we, we can put experienced experienced or not? Yes. Open minded. Yes, okay, some uh, adjectives. Okay, open minded, experienced, enthusiastic. Okay, enthusiastic. Um, no, confident. Yes, it's already there. Uh, punctual, yes. Okay, punctuality is very important for me. Okay, motivated. Ready to learn? Ready to learn? Okay, what else? Time management. Time management is very important, yeah, because uh, the person, the teacher uh, that must be here must uh, deal with the timing for the classes, okay? So timing is very important, okay? Uh, what about, um, yes, it must be creative, yeah, okay? Oh, many things, I ask many things. Yes, okay. Well, um, kind, good, kind to students, yes, okay. Um, enthusiastic, ya está, yes, enthusiastic, punctual, motivated, re ready to learn, time management, creative, kind, yes, it must deal with all these different act uh, skills, yes, skills, qualification, Yes, um, must be, uh, must manage, yes, the language, yes, so 
uh, he or she must have a, a high level not only in the written but also in the spoken part yes okay written and spoken yes okay so i want you to have a look at the pictures what things are important yes when um dealing with uh these different things aspects yes okay And the, the, the first thing uh, I want you to know is uh, what a CV is. I have prepared this for you. All right, you already know this, yeah, but it's the same because this is uh, the vocabulary you need to revise, yes, okay, good. Let me put it there, put it there. So, SCV, can you see? Yes, of course you can. Yes. So, SCV is a short, I will erase this, confident. Yes, okay, you already, we already talked about this, what things a person, yes, uh, a teacher must have if he or she wants to work here in this institution. Confid he must be confident, experienced, or, experienced or not, yes, but ready to learn. Yes, this is very important for me. Open-minded, yes, ready to learn the new techniques, my techniques, yes, kind to students, creative. Uh, he must deal with the time management, yes, timing of the classes, ready to learn, motivated, punctuality is very important, enthusiastic, yes, because uh, you have to uh, show your students that, yes, you are what? Enthusiastic. So they be will they will be enthusiastic as you are. Okay? Yes? Alright. Good. So uh, we have it there. Yes. Alright. Good. So a CV. It is a short account. It is a short account of uh, one's career and qualifications prepared by an applicant for a position it summarizes your summarizes your experience skills and education it is sorry <coughs> it is sent to a potential employer together with a covering letter yes a covering letter was the one i showed last class a curriculum vitae is abbreviated in cv and is pluralized as curricula vitae. Yes, okay. In the USA, it is known as resume. Resume, okay, resume. Okay, entonces van a ver la palabra eh, resume, yes, resume, okay. Good. Well, so what can you see in this, per in this picture? Yes, it is a person, maybe he's applying for a job, Yes, okay. Uh, you know, you have to talk because you have an interview. Yes, if you were chosen for an interview, you will talk, yes, about yourself, about your qualification, why you think you are, why you consider you are suitable for this job or not. Well, or yes, no, or not. Yes, okay, good. Well, and then I wanted to show you this, yes, okay. Because it was uh, prepared for last class, but I didn't show you. Okay, uh, when you choose a career, yes, you have to think about values, you have to think about vision, you have to think about creativity, goals, skills, education, yes. All these things are important when choosing a career, yes, okay. The goals you have, the skills, yes, the values, yes, the vision, yes, okay. Well, well, you know, this uh, was, um, yes, an interview, okay? So, what is important in an interview? Yes, okay? Uh, experience, yes, communication, education, skills. Okay? I have many things there. All right. 
Good. Is it clear? Education, your skills. Yes. Will you be able to communicate? Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. And this, this is very, very, very important. Yes. Okay. Uh, hard skills versus soft skills. Yes. Okay. You know, hard skills, um, teachable abilities or skill sets that are easy to quantify. Yes. Proficiency. Proficiency in a foreign language, a degree or certificate, typing speeds, because some, for some jobs you need to be fast when you are typing, yes, okay? Uh, machine operation, yes, computer programming, programming, yes, you know, whenever uh, people come here, yes, it is, of course, they must know how to deal with different programs in the computer, Yes, war, because we know we prepare the, the charts for you, we prepare the, the um, projections, yes, we prepare the tests, the revisions, yes, so they must deal with different uh, programs, yes, the world, of course, yes, and other programs that are, are used for preparing the projections, yes, you know, computer programming is very important, yes, okay. And then what? Okay, and then you have soft skills. Yes, soft skills, communication, flexibility. Yes, flexibility. The person must be flexible. Yes, okay. You know, open-minded. Yes, okay. <clears throat> uh, they must uh, be able to communicate with other people from the staff. Yes. Uh, teamwork is very important, yes, because you are not going to work alone, yes, so you are in some aspect, you are going to work in a team, yes, we work in a team, yes, because it is a kind of community, yes, so you must be prepared for working in teams, yes, okay, yes, okay, good, uh, well, teamwork, uh, time management, yes, so we have already talked about that, but all this vocabulary, uh, yes, well, you know, there you have, yes, you know, American English is, this is the name, okay, uh, skills, creative thinking, problem solving, customer service, presentation, and time management, yes, um, you know, um, in some works, yes, you have to, um, well, in the majority, there are some goals, Yes, you have to, um, you have some goals for the end of the month, for example, and you cash according to uh, if you have succeed or if you haven't succeed. Yes, if you have success, you succeed, you will cash more. Yes, okay, so be prepared for that, okay? Well, okay, what exactly are soft skills? Well, you have more time management, yes, creative singing. Uh, thinking, yes, conflict resolution, yes, okay, teamwork, networking, time management, yes, okay, and of course, yes, there are some dates you have to be prepared to uh, finish your work, your assignment, yes, in the, um, in the time you are asked, yes, because in a work, like you are, I ask you the compositions, yes, okay? I am preparing you for the future. Because in your job, they will say there will be a time, yes, for handing in papers, yes, for handing in job, uh, um, tasks, yes, different tasks, yes. So you have to uh, be prepared to deal with uh, time, yes, okay? Well, um... Well, teamwork, leadership, communication, computer skills, the same, yeah? There, there were some different charts, yeah? Okay, so, uh, good. What are they doing there? Yes, they are working in team, yeah? So, in teams, do, do you think it is better to work in teams or alone? Yeah, so that is a good question for you to think. Which are the advantages of working alone? Yes, and which are the advantages of working in teams, yes, okay, uh, you have to discuss things, yes, okay, you have to agree with other people, yes, so 
it has its advantages and disadvantages yes okay well all right you know essential professional skills yeah communication time management leadership yes okay do you think you would be a good leader in your work yeah personal skills okay teamwork flexibility flexibility is very important you have to be flexible you have to be open-minded public speaking yes when you are preparing yes when you are maybe you don't realize about it but when you are preparing your speaking yes tasks yes for sending them to me you are being prepared yes to speak in public and this is very important yes okay good um well and that's all yes all right so this is very nice okay good so let's go to a very nice uh chart yes so think about all the skills yes you need to have yes for a job all right good so let's go let's go let's go i want you to go to the uh, listening yes we are going to do the listening yes we have already talked about um, the skills this person must have yes okay listen to two interviews discussing three candidates Cameron Karin and Hector which candidate one is very positive about things but isn't very confident number two seems very well qualified qualified but not interested in the job and three wants a lot of money but doesn't get to work on time oh my god this is awful yes okay so i want you to go there to listen to the um, the recording yes 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 Unit 6. Grammar Focus. Activity 2. Well, that was interesting. Three very different candidates. My feeling is that Cameron has the best qualifications, and he's obviously the most experienced, but I felt he wasn't as enthusiastic as the others. What do you think? Yes, I agree. My guess is that he's looking for something better. You know, a more challenging position. He didn't seem very keen. That's probably the reason. How about Kareen? She's the youngest and least experienced. She's only just finished her training, but she seemed the most enthusiastic. Mm -hmm. She speaks French and Spanish well too. And I noticed that she does much more sport than the other two. However, she's less confident than the others. Yes, I see what you mean. Uh, and finally, Hector. Hmm, Hector. He's only a little older than Kareen, but he expects the highest salary. His qualifications aren't as good as Cameron's, and his previous head teacher says he's the least punctual of all her teachers. He's probably the worst candidate of the three. So, decision time. Okay, decision time. Oh my god, yes. Yeah. All right. So, uh, it's very positive about things, but isn't very confident? Karim. Number two, seems very well qualified, but not interested in the job. Yes, okay. Because sometimes you expect to uh, uh, other things and you are not keen. Yes, okay. Uh, number two, Cameron. And number three, Hector. Hector, okay. Good. Uh, and sometimes he wants more money. Yes, okay. The, uh, the number three, yes, okay. Hector wanted more money, yes, but he wasn't uh, punctual, okay. Well, number three, are you there? Complete the dialogue with the correct words, then listen again to check, okay. Good. So you are going to uh, listen again, yes, okay. Stop the video, pause the video, uh, 
play it again and do the activities, I will go to the corrections, okay? Number one, the best. Yes, this is a superlative, well done. Number two, the most experienced, superlative, experienced. Number three, us, yes, enthusiastic, us, yes. Are you as clever as your mom? Yes, okay. Uh, number five, more challenging. Number five, more challenging. Number six, the youngest. Number seven, the least experienced. Who is the least uh, boring in your house? Yes, I'm the most boring person in your house. Okay, good. Uh, the most enthusiastic, eight. Number nine, much more. Number nine, much more. Yes, okay. Uh, number ten, less confident. Yes, less confident. A little older. A little older. A little shorter. Yes, a little taller. Yes, okay. The highest, number three, the highest. Number 13, as good as. Number 14, the least. Yes, putting the list. Yes, okay. And 15, the worst. Yes, okay. Yes, the worst was the one that was unpunctual, Hector, okay? Uh, which candidate do you think will get the job? What do you think? Number one, number two, or number three? Yes, yes, and we're going to listen which one is the, the one who gets the job, okay? You say number two or number one? Unit six. Let's Grammar see. focus. Activity four. Well, I think I've made up my mind. I think Kareen is the best candidate for the job. Yes, I agree. And I'm sure she'll become more confident as she gets more experience. Because she hasn't got experience. Yes, that's why she's less confident than the other. But, okay, she's willing. I think she's willing to learn. She's very positive, okay? Good. Well, uh, so I want you to complete the table in exercise five. Are you there? I want you to complete it. Yes, okay. You already know adjectives there. You have comparative and superlatives. Yes, okay. Younger. Yes, the youngest. Yes, number two. Enthusiastic, more enthusiastic. The most enthusiastic. Older, the oldest. Confident, yes, more confident, the least confident, yes, el menos, okay, good. Um, number uh, four, yes, okay, less confident, sorry, less confident, the least confident, yes, okay, good, better, the best, bad, worse, and the worst, yes, worse than, okay, good, well. Um, I want you to write all examples at home with this one. Yes, my mother is younger than my father. Yes, okay, the youngest in my family is my sister. Uh, I think my mother is more enthusiastic than my father. Yes, okay, the oldest in my, father, in my family is my grandfather. Yes, the less, uh, my mother is less confident than my father. And the least confident, confident in my family is my little brother, for example. Okay, good. I want you to write examples. Let's go to exercise six. Yes, you're going to pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Remember, yes, okay. So um, you have one or two, three, same, and irregular. Yes, okay. You know, good and bad are irregular. Yes, adjectives. You already know that. Number seven, remember to do the activities and then listen to the answer. Most important, least favorite, worst and higher. Yes, okay. So, um, you can do examples in exercise A to compare the job. For example, a hotel receptionist, so a shop assistant. Yes, okay, a computer engineering, lawyer, dentist. I want you to compare. So being an actor uh, is better than being a doctor. 
yes, or is uh, more interesting than being a doctor, yes, okay, uh, being a dentist is less interesting than being an actor, for example, yes, okay, so I want you to compare, yes, which is better, which is the best, yes, okay, get the best job in all this is being a teacher for me, yes, okay, well, but sometimes the salary is not um, enough, yes, okay, it's not fair, okay, good, so let's go to page 63, page 63, yes, okay, so I want you to uh, think about this vocabulary, prepositional phrases, and you know, I have already, I want you to write own examples in your notebook, and you have, okay, out of order, you know, the elevator or the lift, yes, the lift was uh, out of order, so I have to go up the stairs, mm -hmm. four floors, floors, okay, uh, it means that uh, it's not working very properly. Then you have uh, in charge of, yes, so I am in charge of this institution, yes, okay, good, in case, uh, I want you to take uh, the umbrella in case it rains, yes, in case, yes, because it may happen, something may happen. Uh, work from home. Nowadays, you are working from home, yes, okay, uh, in your house, it means in your house, not at, um, at the office, okay. Uh, work on my own, yes, okay. Um, do you uh, like working on your own or working in or, or working in teams? Yes. Okay. So listen to my examples. Write your own examples in your uh, notebook. Okay. So it's working alone. Yes, by yourself. Okay. Uh, by chance. Okay. Last year, I remember I met my ex-boyfriend by chance. Yes. Unexpectedly. Yes, accidentally, okay? Uh, in aid of charity, to get money from, yes, okay? So, we are going to, um, last weekend, yes, we prepared um, a kind of uh, meeting, yes, okay, celebration, this is an example, yes, uh, in aid of... Um, charity yes because we need to raise some money yes for poor people okay to get money from yes okay in aid of yes remember uh you can organize a marathon in aid of charity you can organize um uh, a festival in aid of charity yes okay out of work yes okay there are many people that are out of, out of work nowadays because of the pandemia, yes, yeah, so without working, unemployed, yes, okay. And then you have some other vocabulary that will appear in these units. Punctual, yes, we have already talked about that. Uh, punctuality is very important when you are uh, asking for a job, yes, okay. Good, um, lie in. Yes. Do you like lying in bed until late? My daughters, yes. Yes, they they do. Okay? Stay in bed in the morning. Yes, okay? Uh, rehearsal, yes. Practice for a performance. Yes, okay. Do you rehearse? Yes. When you have some actors, yes, celebrations for the 25th of March, for example, the 25th of May. Yes, okay. Um, glamorous, you know, well, you know. You, there are many people who are glamorous, yes, um, very attractive and exciting, yes, okay, actors, actresses, yes, okay, dress up, put unusual or smart clothes on, yes, muddy, yes, you know the muddy blues that we sang in first grade, yes, okay, so it's when the ground, yes, has become wet with water, yes, the barro, yes, okay, with barro, this mud is barro. Okay, well, so I want you to complete exercises one, two, yes, uh, three and four, yes, from page six, 63. 
Yes, I will now remember to pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers, all right? Yes, and you can write, or you can also write examples, your own examples using prepositional phrases and this vocabulary. It's very easy, okay? In your quaderno of compositions, notebooks of compositions, please, 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 okay? Number one, out. Number two, in. Yes, okay. Number three, out and in. Number four, from, on, by. Number five. Yes, wait a minute. Yes, number five, by, and number six. Yes, number six, in. Exercise two. Yes, have you ever had a really boring job? Well, imagine that you have already a hub, yes, a boring job, yes. Charity. Charity, yes, charity. Now, this is the correct pronunciation, yes, charity. I was checking, yes, okay. So, because here I said um, charity, but it's charity, yes, okay. Ba, 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 ba. In aid of charity, yes, okay. Good, wait a minute. Okay, in name of charity, I'm writing the phonetic, yes, okay, charity, in name of charity, okay, um, you have to be friend of the dictionary, okay, uh, become friends, yes, okay, number two, are you there? Yes, okay, in charge of, on her own, by myself, number three, out of work, Number four, out of order. Number five, in aid of. Number six, by chance. Yes. Number seven, in case. And number eight, from home. Okay. Is it clear? So I want you to go to, um, um, yes, they are the story. How many jobs does the writer mention? Which ones were the most unpleasant and the most boring? Okay. The writer mentioned four jobs, mentions four jobs, okay, picking fruit, picking up fruit, uh, working from, uh, for a furniture, furniture removal company, working for a butcher's, a butcher's, yes, okay, um, Butcher. Yes, butcher. Working, working from a butcher's working uh, for a sports equipment company. Yes. And the job in the butcher's, yes, in the butcher's company. Yes. Okay. Um, shop was the most unpleasant. Yes. The job packing table tennis ball was the most boring. Yes. Okay. Good. Um, poor guy. Yes. Okay. Well, number one, from, yes, number two, was, number three, have, yes, had to, uh, um, let me, I had to sort pieces of chicken, Ugh. yes, number four, without, a doubt, number five, the most boring, number six, on, my own, number three, uh, number seven, of, yes, out of sight, yes, okay, I can see it, it's out of sight, yes, good, number eight, a, eh? number nine, like, and number ten, less experienced players, okay, the thing was, they were actually the same ball, they just went into different boxes, there was a problem there, have you ever, uh, have you, have you or someone you know, Ever had a really boring parting job or holiday job? Uh, can a holiday job lead to a full-time career? What do you think? Yes, I think maybe yes, okay? Because sometimes you um, can understand that this is not the job you would like to have. And yes, you can um, set yourself uh, a goal, yes, okay, and start studying and 
choosing a career, choose a career you like and completely change your point of view, yes? Okay, so maybe uh, uh, an awful job can lead you to uh, the career, the career you really love, okay? So think about that, yes, okay? And I want you to go to page 64. 64. We are going to listen to a radio interview from a famous actress about her job. Do you think she? Uh, do you think the life of an actress is easy or difficult? Well, you will say, okay, yes, it's very easy because they have to um, rehearse. Yes, okay, go to rehearsals. Yes, okay, record the the film and everything, and they can travel. Yes, maybe we can find some. Um, more advantages, yes, than disadvantages. But we are going to listen to her, yes, talking, and then we are going to talk about that, okay? Is it clear? Good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There we are. Unit six, listening focus, activity two. This week we're interviewing famous people about their jobs. Our guest today is Jenny Gardner, a well-known actress. Jenny has appeared in many films and we see her very often in a popular soap opera. I imagine you must be very No, good. soap opera? Yes, novelas. Well done. Busy these days, Jenny. <laughs> yeah. You must be very busy these days, Jenny. <laughs> yes, filming for Three Bridges is a full-time job. But it's great to have the chance to come on the programme. So, do you think you were well prepared for a career in acting? Um, I think it's difficult to be prepared for any job, really. Your working life is so different from school or college. It's a... Hmm. Yes. Working life is very different from college, yes, or school. Yes, you know, because sometimes, yes, Wait a minute, because I'm making some note. Because uh, they prepare you, but not for real life. And when you are working, when you start your working life, you see, okay, what, I, what have I learned? Yes, they are. Nothing, you say. Yes, yeah, because it's completely different. I think um, when you are uh, doing, uh, following a career, they must prepare you, yes? to face a lot of things, yes, to face the truth when you start working life because it's completely different from school or college, okay? Your working life is so different from school or college, it's a real shock to the system. <laughs> you go from having very few responsibilities to a life which is well organised and people have more expectations of you. Mm. Most people have a fixed day and they have to be punctual. Mm. You can't just have a lie-in when you feel like it. <laughs> I knew quite a bit about acting before. Punctuality. This is very important. Yes. Okay. So be punctual with yourself, with your tasks. Yes. Okay. Because you are being prepared for the future. Whenever I ask you to hand in the papers on time, I am preparing you for the future, yes, okay? Or I started, cause might feel like it. <laughs> I knew quite a bit about acting before I started, cause my dad is an actor. So I've been to some of his rehearsals mm. and knew about the hard work acting involves. Mm. People think it's a glamorous job. You know, yes, we all think that being actresses or actors is a glamorous job, yes, but they have to be punctual, they have to go to different rehearsals on time, they can, they, they have to be there uh, on time, they can't just appear, yes, whenever they want, yes, okay? And yes, it's fun to dress up and put on makeup, and of course, getting out on stage is great, but it's very hard too. At school, we had this scheme where students in their last year spent two weeks getting work experience um, in a real work environment. One of my friends wanted to be a primary school teacher and she spent two weeks helping in a class of nine-year-olds. Another wanted to work in the media and so worked in a newspaper office. 
Uh, during my work experience, I got to spend time in a theatre. It's an excellent system because you get to see what the reality of the job is. Okay, so they uh, spend two weeks, yes, with real work experience, yes. But I think there should be more weeks. There should be uh, like four months, yes, or three months. And you should be there because there is the place where you realize, yes, the time that you realize if you like it or not. If you are going to be prepared or not, yes, okay. If you are suitable, if this job is suitable or not for you. Yes, so this is very interesting and sometimes for me two weeks is not enough, yes, because you have to be, yes, um, uh, related to uh, the atmosphere, uh, the real work experience, okay, With, uh, it is a real shock, as she said, yes, because sometimes you are not prepared, most of the time you are not prepared, yes, uh, and you don't know what real job is, okay. Practical side. Mm. I was lucky because the actors were putting on a production of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet and I spent two weeks with them while they were getting ready to perform. I helped out a lot backstage. <laughs> <laughs> I learned all about how they built the set and how the costumes were made but the most thrilling part was working with the lighting. That was new for me. You know, many things you have to know, yes, for me uh, they have to be prepared for everything, yes? Because sometimes you start being the actor, being an actor or an actress, but then you become, uh, now many actors or act actresses have become producers, yes? You're, so you have to be prepared, uh, you have to know about everything, the lightning, yes? About uh, the costumes, yes? Okay, all the backstage uh, uh, thing, makeup and everything, yes? Because then, it can help you when you become a producer and you know in my opinion it is better to know about a little about everything yes okay and be well, being well prepared is uh, it is about that yes okay good I spent three years at a drama school which I'm very glad to have done but after all that my first job wasn't very glamorous at all I had hoped to be given a part in a film, but instead it was a small part in a TV commercial. <laughs> Not for anything nice like chocolate, but cheese. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was working on a farm and they filmed me walking across a muddy field to feed the cows. Oh, and I was singing a silly song at the same time. That was back in 2009. <laughs> Since then I've been lucky and had better opportunities. And 2012 was an especially good year for me. As we all know. So tell me, Jenny, how did you feel? Okay, well, so she said many interesting things. That's why I stopped the, the recording and talk, yes, because uh, it was very, a very interesting recording, okay? Uh, well, uh, number, uh, 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 um, Number three, let's go to num number two. Her father is an actor. I knew quite a bit about acting before I started because my dad is an actor. So I'd been to some of his rehearsals and knew about the hard work of acting in balls. Yes, okay. Number one, yes, okay, popular. Number two, yes, number two, so many responsibilities to face. Yes, okay. And that's why... I said that you are not, I have already said that you are not prepared, yes, because you don't know, yes, the amount of responsibilities, the amount of responsibilities you have to face in a real job, yes, so maybe three months, four months, yes, uh, in, in contact with a real uh, job could be perfect, yes, okay, good, um, makeup, yes, theatre, number five, lightning, Number six, cheese. She was, uh, uh, before the first job she had was a commercial of cheese. Yes, okay. 2009 and number eight, she has been lucky. Yes, okay, up to now. Yes, okay. So, um, number four. Yes, are you there? So you have to match the words from the recording from one to seven with the definition from A to G. We have already done this because it's punctual, lie in, rehearsal, grammar, dress up, practical and muddy. 
Number one, D. Remember to pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. 1D, 2E, 3F, 4G, 5A, 6C, 7B. Okay, number five, one, Tantra. Number two, Madi. Yes, number three, lie in. Number four, dress up. Yes, this is the nice thing. Yes, because they can dress up. Yes, they can make up. Yes, but the other thing, yes, like in every job, yes, there are advantages and disadvantages. Yes, okay. Uh, five, glamorous. And number six, practical. Okay, so up to... Um, this is this has been the end of exercise of page 64 remember for our next class you have to do page 39 and 40 only the use of english that are exercise one exercises one and two okay see you next class bye bye